Hello everyone, welcome back. Okay, so we discussed how the for loop is working and how it is iterating the data and how it is work with the range and how it is work with the letters and the list. Let's try with some real time example. And this example is pretty much is going to cover uh, how the for loop is working against the dictionaries. Okay, so I'm going to create a user defined dictionary which holds um, a employee a list of female employees and uh, male employees. Okay, and then I'm going to check what are the employee names contains a specific letter. So let me create a, a collection first. So employees, or I'm going to be employee EMP and the collection, and it has to be key and value pair male employees. and female employees okay i can have some male employees i'm going to keep it as a list of employee names here so dennis matthew and john and uh, the female employee list Nancy the black widow and and Jenny So I have an employee collection, I mean a dictionary which holds male and female employees. I'm going to iterate this particular dictionary with the help of for loop and iterating the data and then I'm checking what what are the names which contains a specific character. Let me write a for loop for key in so I'm going to collect all the keys from the dictionary so we know the way how we need to collect all the keys from a particular dictionary with the using the help of keys and we do have something else also keys and and something called items okay so here we are going to use amp dot keys method <coughs> so what the key contains now let's print and see run See, it contains male and female, which is nothing but the key of the employee, employees. Okay, so I'm going to iterate the data from this particular employee list. Okay, let me try something like this. Employee of... Mm, let me try it. You can print the data as well. You can pass the key and you can iterate the data. Okay, so now I'm not going to print the data here. I'm going to iterate the another for loop, which will loop the the list of values here. So I'm going to write another for loop here for name in amp of key and I'm checking if in name so here you can place whatever the character which you want to check for example in this and I'm going to check uh, um, whether my name whether the employee name contains T okay so if any employee name contains T we will print the employee name here name okay let's save it uh, let's take the data 
Dennis Matthew so it has T so it will print Nancy black widow and Jenny so only one name contains the T okay so our expectation is the outcome has to be Matthew let's run this cool so we got the data what we are expecting let's try something else let's try some other data let's try a most of the names contain C. Oh no, no, only Matthew and Nancy and Black Widow. Okay. Now let me run this. So we got three names: Matthew, Nancy, and Black Widow. So this is how you need to iterate a list of employees, and also this is the way you need to iterate the data from the dictionaries. Okay. The first for loop. This is for I trade the first level, which is nothing but the key. It contains. It will. It will. Con it will take all the keys. So when we got the key, with the help of key, we can I trade the data inside the key. And this is I trade the second level of data which is nothing but uh, the list of employees the male and female employees and this is the condition this can be it can be anything so it's it's up to you okay you can put any characters here to check that or if you want to check in a specific name you can check simply check uh, if a name yeah, a particular name contains a name then you can check that okay so that's also possible so before you move on to the other uh, concept as a programmer we must know how we can use the for loop effectively okay so in a single word you, we can simply say we cannot write a program without a for loop in a most of the scenarios okay just Try to uh, work out this for loop and try with your own examples and let me know if you get stuck somewhere else I can help you. Okay. Thank you guys.